Hi, this is Val with Living Divine. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. So this video is starting a little different from my other videos simply because this is a weight loss, health, fitness uh, video. I know most people that have signed onto my channel or watch my videos are here for the locks. So I'm gonna give you a little lock action. Um, but the reason I'm starting this video off standing up is just to kind of show you what my current uh, physique looks like. Um, and then I'm going to talk to you about healthy eating habits, uh, tips for losing weight, and um, a 12 week weight loss journey that I'm on or fitness training that I'm on and I'd like for you guys to join me if you want to um, and give you some tips on how to not only lose weight but keep that weight off and maintain it because that's what I'm actually going for this year. I know how to lose weight. That's easy. It's the maintenance part I used to struggle with and still sometimes struggle with. So I want to talk about that, talk about how depression uh, affects weight loss or affects weight loss, I'm sorry, and uh, how we as a community, and I'm just talking about people of color specifically, deal with so many medical issues involving um, overeating and obesity and things of that nature. And maybe we can start breaking those cycles if we understand um, the dynamics of weight loss. This is not going to be a super, super long video, or I'm going to try not to make it a super long video because I could talk for days about weight loss. What I do want to tell you is this will not be a video on um, really quick ways to lose weight, um, any new fads that are out there. I will talk a little bit about them, but I really want to talk about uh, being healthy, eating healthy, and if you do that, the weight will come off, but let's discuss it, um, and I will be right back so we can talk about it in detail, but right now, let me give you a little lock action and a little twirl. I'm telling you, I'll be at the gym like, wait a minute, what? You want me to do what? Move the weight. Okay, I'm just joking with that part, but I had to do a little uh, twirl action because again, I know a lot of people are here for the locks. So I'll talk to you soon. Hi, welcome back. Now I'm going to give you some tips that'll help you in reference to weight loss, in reference to your health, and some things to think about um, on your journey to weight loss. I was thinking about these videos and for some reason, the weight loss videos are very difficult for me to make. And I think part of that is because there's so much involved with weight loss. It is not just um, let's take in less calories. And of course you will lose weight. But the reality is if you can't master or figure out why uh, you're eating the way you're eating or binge eating or emotionally eating, or you can't figure out healthy eating habits, you're going to gain the weight back. I'm going to insert, insert pictures during this video of me gaining and losing and gaining and losing weight. My goal this year is to not only be as healthy as I've ever been, and right now I am, but I, I'm on a journey to can even get healthier, but it's to maintain that healthy weight and to give myself small goals. And I'm gonna to talk to you about those. I'm actually going to start a 12 week challenge. I would love for you guys to be on the challenge with me. And the challenge is not Okay, so I, I finally got to 12 weeks and now it's over. If you truly understand health, you know that this is just starting. It is a daily. Uh, yes, you can change you know, your diets. Uh, you can change what you're doing, your exercise routine, things of that nature. But the minute you stop, totally stop, and go back to what you were doing before, um, you lost weight or before you got healthy, you're going to go back to those unhealthy habits. And I know I can speak from experience with that. And again, I'm going to insert pictures to let you understand that I'm not saying what somebody told me. I'm telling you what I have lived through over the years and where I am right now in the journey. And I just want to be able to help people with their journey so they can... Um, maybe avoid some of the pitfalls that I went through and some of the things that helped me get to where I am uh, physically, mentally, um, and it's a daily, it's a daily struggle, it's a daily journey. So here's some tips. Uh, please, if you have any questions, 
uh, leave them in the comments section. I will answer them as soon as I can. Um, and then at the end of this video, please watch till the end. I'm going to talk about the 12 week uh, challenge that I'm going to start. And I'm going to start at the week right after Christmas. Because I think, uh, like I said, it's weight loss or healthy weight is it's ongoing. You know, for me, it's not let's wait until the new year so I can hurry up and eat as much as I want. And then I'll have more weight to lose um, on January 1st. No, it is to say uh, we're going to maintain a healthy regimen all year long. I'm going to enjoy Christmas, obviously. Uh, but two days after Christmas, I'm right back on it. I'm back eating healthy. I'm back doing the things that I need to do to maintain a healthy weight, a healthy mind, um, and to get where I need to go to try to reach my goals. So here's one of my tips. And I wrote them down. So if I look down, I'm looking at my paper. So the first tip is to set small goals. Um, when COVID hit, oh my God, um, I, I'm going to also link a video and I talked about my weight gain during COVID. I gained so much weight. I was about to say 35 pounds, but to be real honest, I think I gained more. I just got to the point that I did not want to step on the scale. But when I finally realized how much I gained, and that's when I went to the doctor's office and I talked about that before, it was clearly at least 35 pounds. And what happened was I got stressed, I got depressed. Um, I was working from home, my job was horrible. And I was eating and drinking and sleeping and eating and drinking and sleeping. And those bad habits uh, will cause you to gain weight. When that happened and, and I stepped on the scale and realized that I had so much weight that I needed to lose, that number, 35 pounds, 40 pounds was absolutely overwhelming to me. It was overwhelming. Um, and the only way I could deal with it, and it, it is help me thus far is to take it in small increments. So I came home and said, okay, I don't have to lose 35 pounds or 40 pounds. I have to lose five. I broke it down. And every time I hit five pounds, I'd say, great, you know, do a little celebration, be excited, and then go for another five. You have to get small wins, especially when you have a lot of weight to lose. Um, I think when you look at 100 pounds or 50 pounds, it is just overwhelming. So it's real easy to give up and say it's just too much. Um, I heard the saying uh, before, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. That's the same way in reference to losing weight. Instead of looking at the big picture, and of course you want to lose all that weight. Yes, uh, that's understandable, but... You can only do it one pound at a time, one ounce at a time. So why just be down on yourself? You are where you are. Now, how are we going to pick ourselves up and get ourselves out of this hole? Get small wins. If five pounds is too much, let's do two, okay? Let's say this week we're going to um, achieve a two-pound weight loss, and that's easy, Um and I know it's easy for me to say it's easy, but I'm a foodie, or it looks easy for me to say it's easy. Easy. I am a foodie. I love to eat. I've said that before. So it's not as easy as you think. I just have to get really disciplined on how we can make that happen, okay? So set small goals, goals for yourself. My goal, uh, which is why I'm doing the 12-week challenge, is to actually do a photo shoot at the end of the 12 weeks. And I'm talking about a full gym, uh, very little clothes on photo shoot, a classy photo shoot, but a photo shoot. That is my, my win, my goal for this next 12 weeks. So that is my goal. In the interim, and that's 12 weeks, that's not a, a, a quick goal. That's going to take a minute. But in the interim, what uh, my goal might be is, let's say this week I might lose a pound. Okay, you know, or I might tone up or I might do extra weights this week. So I'm doing those kind of goals, but you have to set your own goals and then make them attainable. Um, for me, it might be that I'm not eating any sugar this week. And if I have maintained that, that is my win for the end of the week. So set something that you can attain um, and then attain it and then celebrate the win. 
And as you keep going, it'll get easier and easier. Trust me, it will get easier to get where you need to go. But you have to have the small wins first before you just get absolutely overwhelmed with the 40 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, whatever it is that you need to uh, lose weight on. Okay, so tip number two. If you've messed up your diet, let's say I've had a really bad meal. I had fried food, you know. Um, what I won't do is then mess up the entire day. Or let's say for whatever reason, you have messed up your entire day in reference to the diet. Get back up tomorrow and start over. What you don't want to do is say, well, you know what? I messed it up. So, you know, I, I'm just through and just really start overeating again. Things happen. There is no perfection. Uh, if I did, had a bad meal, the next day I, I'm back in my diet or healthy eating regimen. I really hated calling it a diet, but I'm back at it. I'm doing what I need to do to maintain a healthy weight loss. And it's all in moderation, you guys. You don't have to be extreme with any of your eating habits. If you are doing what you're supposed to do, one bad meal will not throw you off. Uh, what happens is we'll eat a bad meal. We'll say, oh, I blew my diet. So then we'll keep eating and we'll keep eating. And, you know, we're, we're two weeks, you know, of, of bad meals. And then you've gained not only the weight that you've lost, you've gained extra weight. So just call it what it is. You know, I had a bad day or I had a bad meal and I'm getting back to it and I'm going to move on. You've got to give yourself the chance to fail and the chance to get back up and keep pushing. It's all in moderation. Okay. So tip number three, have food that's already prepared so you can grab it quickly. Uh, when you get hungry, you have tons of healthy options in the refrigerator. And I'm not talking about like meal prep, even though meal prep is wonderful. And if you can meal prep ahead of time, that's great. For me, I really cook on uh, Saturdays and Sundays. I cook big meals just out of habit. I divide them up, freeze them where I can quickly take them out and warm them up. It works in reference to my husband quickly grabbing his food, me grabbing my food, and I have tons of healthy food in the refrigerator that's already prepared. If I'm hungry and I don't have anything already cooked or something healthy to grab, knowing that I'm a foodie, I'm going to reach for something that is unhealthy. Um, and that will throw me back on my diet. So always try to have um, healthy options prepared and ready to go. So you, when you come in and you're rushing, you'll have something to eat that won't throw your diet off. It will help so much with your weight loss. Okay, so the next one is, and this might sound uh, simple, but it's not so much. Know how much food you're actually intaking. During COVID, I think people gained so much weight, myself included. It's because we ate when we were bored. We ate um, because we were just sitting around the house. We ate as a form of entertainment. We ate because we were depressed. Uh, we did that daily snacking, you know, and snacks count. Those calories count. Um, I have a niece that always asks me, uh, can you tell me some healthy snacks? The reality is you don't need snacks. It is a habit. It is a habit to eat snacks. Of course, you can have healthy snacks. You know, you can have veggies. Um, you can you can make. I to me, I just do small um, small meals and kind of consider them snacks if that's what I wanted to do. But it really does depend upon what you consider um, your end game to be. Like, what is your goal? Is your goal to lose weight? And because those snacks count, if you're having a high calorie snack and you're trying to stay under a certain amount of calories per day, it really might cut into your meal count. But I can't tell you what, you have to do what works for you. But know that if what you're taking in daily, like all day, it counts. So if you're grabbing... Um, Let's say nuts because they're high, of course, in natural um, healthy fats. But if you eat enough nuts, you can gain weight. I love cashews. But if I'm going to eat the whole bag, that is tons of calories. So just know what you're bringing in daily in reference to your snacks uh, and be mindful. For me right now, I am not snacking. I'm just 
eating my um, two, not two, three to four meals a day. Okay, so tip number five. If you have no control over a food or if you have a favorite chocolate or even a favorite nut and you have no control over that, don't buy it. Leave it in the store. And I'm going to tell you that um, I've talked about me eating and me drinking wine. Love wine. And I love sweet wine. So I don't even love strong wine. I love wine that tastes like sugar, Moscato. You know, that's nothing but sugar. If I buy it, I feel like I need to drink it and I need to drink it all. Um, so at this point, I can't have it in the house. I don't buy it in the house. Um, I don't buy chocolates. Um, I'm not a chocolate fan, but I do like I like chocolate covered cashews, things of that nature. If I buy it, I will eat it. So I don't buy anything that I have no control over. Ice cream. Oh my God. Uh, don't buy it. For what? Because I will eat it all. So why torture myself with that? I just don't bring it into the house. Um, if you have uh, younger children, my uh, daughter's an adult, but if you have younger children, you can buy healthier uh, snacks for them that you can um, eat, you know, if you're on that uh, snack kind of diet, but uh, you don't have to bring uh, unhealthy things in the house. Again, if you can't control it, my best advice for you is to not buy it. Okay, so the next one is you really need to try to stay under or at least have a 1,200 calorie diet. Now that um, might not sound like much, but if you're doing a weight loss, you really need to try to do 12 to 1500 calories. And think about um, kind of what you're taking in. I suggest high protein, um, low um, fats, low carbs. The carbs I suggest are like fibrous carbs, like veggies, uh, broccoli. Uh, try to stay away from the starchier carbs like rice and white potatoes, things of that nature. Um, Try to have uh, protein with every meal. And again, this goes back to one of the other tips. Know what you're intaking. Because if you know how much uh, you're actually intaking per day, you'll understand what you need to do to stay under a 1,200 calorie diet. Most people don't know this, but it takes 3,500 calories to gain one pound. Okay? It takes that same amount of calories to lose one pound. Now think about it. If I gained, let's say this weekend I ate and I gained um, three pounds. And I don't mean water weight or, you know, uh, I'm holding water because of the salt intake or whatever. But three firm pounds that I've gained over the weekend. Uh, and it takes 3,500 calories for me to gain one pound. Can you imagine how much food I've eaten to gain three? Now think of the holidays when people walk away from the holidays after gaining 10 and 15 pounds. Our perfect example for me with COVID. Uh, think about how much I was eating to gain the weight that I gained. So for me to go from that to a 1200 calorie diet, initially it was really easy to drop the weight. It was really easy to lose the weight. Now, emotionally, it was not easy. But in reference to going uh, to the 1,200 calorie diet, the weight came off pretty quickly initially, simply because I was just overeating at the beginning anyway. So um, that was pretty easy to do. So just think about um, maintaining or staying at between 1,200 and 1,500 calories and I promise you, you will lose weight. And just try to make sure these are uh, nutritious calories, the, that you're getting a lot of protein, that you're getting your vitamins, that you are actually doing what you need to do to maintain um, health and uh, maintain, you know, make sure that you're feeling well and you're moving around and you're keeping yourself active, okay? So the next one is, Drink or try to drink at least a gallon of water a day. Water helps flush the system. It helps get, get toxins out of the system. So drinking water, plus helps, it kind of helps you feel a little, not full, but it, it helps a little bit when you're trying to, to eat healthy and, and it stops the feeling of just 
feeling like you're extremely hungry. And a lot of times people are not hungry when they eat. Sometimes they're thirsty. But again, I think you eat out of habit. I know for me, I ate out of habit sometimes as opposed to just drinking some water or drinking some um, some juice. And I don't mean um, juice with a lot of sugars in it, but just drinking some water to flush the system out. So uh, try to do at least a gallon of water a day. I still struggle with that, but I do drink a lot of water. So I get as close as I can to a gallon of water a day, but my goal is to actually make it a gallon. Okay. And then try to do some kind of exercise. And this is just for your, um, of course it'll speed up your metabolism, but this is all also for your heart health. Uh, try to do between 30 to 40 minutes a day, 45 minutes, five to six days a week of some kind of exercise, some kind of cardio. Get the heart pumping, get blood pumping. It will help burn extra calories. Um, I love working, well, I can't say I love working out, but I do work out um, and I work out often because I make it a habit. I talked before about the fact that I wake up at four o'clock and I go to the gym. I make working out a habit like I make up uh, getting up and brushing my teeth a habit. So for me, that's just the ongoing. But think about this, that I was doing exercise when I was gaining weight. And yes, a lot of the gyms closed, my gym included during COVID, but I was uh, walking, I want to say close to five miles a day, working out at the house, um, like five miles, not five miles a day, uh, about an hour a day. So I was actually working out and still gaining weight. So you can't outwork bad eating habits. So eating right and eating healthy is very important in reference to a good regimen, okay? So those are the tips that I have in reference to um, maintaining a good, healthy weight. Okay, so now let me talk about my 12-week um, health journey. Uh, starting December the 27th, and I'll go through March the 20th, I will start a 12-week health challenge. Um, I will give up all sugars, including fruits, which is, I love fruit, so that's going to be difficult, but I will give up all sugar. My goal is to actually do the photo shoot in March so I can kind of show off my hard work and it'll just kind of be my reward for staying the task in reference to this 12 week challenge. In reference to you guys as viewers, I would love to uh, be able to talk you through um, your weight challenges, uh, any that you might have. If you want to help join me on this challenge, let me know. What I don't want to do is do a whole lot of videos that talk about um, issues with weight loss and weight gain if you're not interested in that. The last thing I want to do is to waste anybody's time to make videos and, you know, uh, nobody's interested really in hearing it. So please let me know if you're interested in joining me on this 12-week challenge. You don't have to start on the 27th. That's just when I'm going to start. But mind you, there's no finish line. This is a health journey. This is not necessarily a weight loss journey, even though you will lose weight. This There is no finish line to this. There is no finish line to health. You have to continue to maintain it. That's why I say that if you fall, just get back up the next day. It's okay. So uh, let me know if you're interested in joining. If you are you are interested, I will dedicate myself to at least one day a week to make a video that gives tips, advice on weight loss, that can talk about um, exercises that you can do. But you need to tell me. You need to talk back to me and let me know exactly what you need, what you want from me. And I would be more than happy to help you with that. I would love to go live to be able to answer your questions live if possible. I think you have to have a thousand viewers. I think I heard someone say that. I could be wrong, but I need to know that you are interested in that if possible. And I can answer your questions that way, or I can just, you can put them in the comment section and I will answer them. If you're not interested, that's, that's perfectly fine. I will be on the challenge regardless, and I will still come um, on and talk about my hair and just kind of update you on my journey if that's uh, nothing that you're interested in. Anyway, please like and subscribe and share 
If you are interested, uh, let me know. Please put it in the comments section. Let me know what weight challenges you are having. I will tell you that one of the things I do want to talk about, and I think it's going to be a very heavy video, is the emotional toll um, when you have mental health issues, emotional issues. Um, that's usually when people gain weight. Uh, and you can see with COVID that that's usually what happens. And I think people are not properly weighing what mental health, how mental health and weight gain kind of correlate to each other. So I do want to talk about that, but I will do that on another video. So because this video is way too long, but I need to know also if you are interested in hearing that. Again, that'll be a heavier video for another day. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you soon on the next video. Of course, talking about my locks and talking about where I am on this uh, health journey, weight loss journey.